I have a nice I have a nice catalog. I have a nice um catalog of unreleased material. But I, I don't dig into it too often, right? Because, you know, um it 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 has to speak to me, right? When I when I reach back like that. I don't like to do it too often, but I have the accumulation of songs because I'm constantly recording, I'm constantly putting down concepts. You know what I mean? I'm 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 constantly writing. So um, you know that's how I build up the um the catalog, but you know it has to be it has it, it it's kind of like a wine cellar, right? You know when I go down there, I go down there for you know a particular bottle, a particular taste, you know. So um, you know, but yeah, I have I have I have quite a few songs in reserve, you know, but I never go in reserve and pull out a whole album out of reserve. You know, I only go down there for, for one specific place, you know, every now and then, you know. So most of the, all, all, all of the rest of the material I write, you know, I write from a, um, a current a point of view, you know, so. Yeah. That makes sense kind of to fit, you. fit with what you're doing, I imagine, too. Yeah. A few years ago, uh, you did a real, real dope song um, uh, with Gangster Nip and K Reno called "The Rich and the Poor." Phenomenal song, man. What's it like working with them cats? Um, you know, man, it's it's, a, it's always awesome. You know, when you're working with um guys that 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 um basically was coming out, you know, and y'all enjoyed the same era, you know. So to act to see those guys still active, still doing that thing. You know, um, it motivates me. I'm sure my activity motivates them. So it's always a plus when we get together and um, able to record a song amongst legends. Man, what did you think of uh, Nip when you first met him and heard his style? It was a style all to his own. <laughs> That's exactly, you know what I'm saying, what I, what I was thinking. Um, you know, um, man, you know, Nip music used to make me laugh with, with with the crazy things he would say. You know what I mean? It was it was it was all it was um audible comedy for me, you know, and um you know, but when it came to his delivery, you know what I mean? He had a mean delivery. You know what I mean? He had a mean delivery. He just he he focused on a lot of things that um bring about shock value, right? and things that will draw you in and be like, man, I can't believe he said that, or what did he say, you know what I mean, right there. So, Nip, 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 Nip was always entertaining. In his own. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, like, comment, share. Also go over to UGSForLife.com, download the entire archive, and check out new episodes on Apple Podcasts and Blog Talk Radio.